All right, well this evening we are going to run northbound Dodger, train number 66. So it's going to depart the yard and uh, head north. We're going to uh, first go to the CRIMP interchange at Winfield and then switch the town of Winfield and then the Calumet refinery and then after that we will go to Gifford Hill Concrete International Paper and then back to the yard so those are our stops this evening let's get started building the train okay here's an overview of the yard first thing we need to do is pull out a caboose and bring it up to the rear of where the train will be built and we'll do that we'll start with caboose 389 which is our red caboose it's a porthole type uh, steel sheath wood caboose so let's uh let's just zoom in down there to the other end of the yard and watch that as it happens So this evening we're going to be using a pair of F units, uh, 94 and 95, to get started. And for safety rules, we always leave our cars at least a hundred feet from the points of the switch. So now we'll, we're going to build on the secondary main. So we're going to have our locomotives come around on the primary.
All right, we've got a load of empties to take to the refinery is the uh, big haul on this local. Uh, we'll be doing some other pickups, but these empties, of course, require a buffer car. And we actually have, uh, we actually have a buffer car for that that is going to the interchange. So that'll be a car that's uh, on track two. And it's back here at the back, of course. It's all the way back here. And we'll be getting that car in just a moment. But we're going to build the train from back to front. So the first thing that's going to go is this tank car. Now, because we need a, that's an empty as well. But because we need a buffer car for our caboose, we're going to take this box car, even though it's not in the manifest, we're going to take that box car and use it as a buffer. So we're just going to leave them here, and once we build the train, we'll push it all the way back into the caboose. All right, so let's see what we got on our uh, list now to take to the refinery. pull forward and grab that string of tank cars and uh, we're going to pull out the ones we need.
Now we can back up and start adding them to our train. Pull forward, push this one back so we can get to this one. And remember our safety rule, at least a hundred feet from the switch points, from the uh, from the frog rather. three are on the manifest so they will be pushed back. The next one we have to get is this one, so we'll push those three back on track three in the yard.
do have to get this one though, I forgot about that. That's why it's always good to keep reading the manifest. This one and then this one. Actually, this one and these four right here. Or five, because I've got to get this one as well. shove this one back on track three and then we can get our other ones that are in front of it. Sometimes couplers are stubborn. Pull forward and put them 
Um, oh no, I didn't. I put them on the right track. Sometimes you got to pay attention to what you're doing. It's hard counting when you got all ten cars in a row. Here. So we've got five cars here. And this is the car we need to cut. We need to make our cut right here. That's got one of these ridiculous shelf couplers that I'm going to have to take off. Okay, we're going to put these uh, two back and get this last one up here. Leave. Nope, nothing else goes. Let me get a good count here. So I am short one tank car. Let's see which one it is. See which one it is. It's one I put back that I shouldn't have. So let's go grab it. Luckily, it's the one in the reel.
All right, let's take the rest of these tank cars and put them back on track three. And then we'll get our one last box car from track two down there at the end and we will be on our way. This is going to be a long string of cars here, trying to get to that last one.
But what we're gonna do is we're gonna push it all the way back and get the caboose. Then we'll pull up a little, disconnect from our train, shove the other cars back on the on track to where they belong, and then bring our locomotives back and hook up to our train. Push these back and then we'll hook up to our train and take off.
All right, as we get our locomotive hooked up, we will take the train out of the yard and join you in the town of Winfield in a little while.